you put it down. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm glad you're so excited about this. <laughs> so, so you got a picture perfect, beautiful December 3rd, 2016. I got pilot Aruya with me here. I'm your co-pilot Denise and Aruya and I are going to rock this thing, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And we got Tom and Jay over there. Oh yeah. Paradise 1 and 2, line up and wait, runway 8. Man. All righty, so we're a little itty bitty teeny weeny aircraft and they're like this is like a big old runway So we're gonna take the the Makai the Mook the sorry the Mauka side. They're gonna take the Makai side the ocean side okay. All right All righty, so we're just gonna step on the throttle. We're gonna get rolling about 65 miles an hour Just stay real nice and Woo! loose with your grip Right a little bit to straighten us out. Right about 
Oh, I'm Lisa. Yeah, you're, you're correct, just like that. See, now we're going bar parallel to the shore and get that bar straight up and down, a little bit more to the right. There we go. So now you can pretty much just relax, but if we start to drift out towards the ocean, you just pull it with your with your mountain hand. And if we start to drift out towards the towards the island, you pull it with your ocean hand, okay? Oh, uh, okay. All right. We're at 1,500 feet right now. Too. When there's, at least when there's no wind, 
there's no white caps. So if you do see any splashing, it's probably either whales or dolphins. Ah. So I've been looking. But Cayenne Point is usually where we see them. So I still look out here, but Cayenne Point is where we most often ah, times we see them. Sometimes up at Waimea too. Perfect. Now we'll just kind of straight. You got it, girlfriend. We're basically just going to kind of follow the shoreline. Don't go any further out to sea. We'll stay a little closer to the beach. Yeah. I'm always thinking in the back of my brain, where am I going to go if I have a problem? You know, I want to land someplace safely. Ah, okay. So that's why I always better to be near shoreline, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, if you and I were going to fly to Molokai, say we're going to go to Molokai and have coffee, well, then there's sometimes you just have to deal with the fact that you're not going to be over the island. something in the water there. I think it's just some smudge. Oh yeah. It's for the wave. Yeah, from the current. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh well. Uh, still beautiful though. Yeah. So none of the windmills are turning, which is nice. Yeah. That means there's not a lot of wind. Not a lot of wind means not a lot of turbulence. Oh yeah. That's good. We like that. Yeah. A wonderful job on the flying. Are your arms doing okay? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. This is I count this as my gym today. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't have to do your planks or your push-ups or anything. Yeah. You got your workout. This is your gym today. Exactly. Yeah. North Shore traffic. Paradise One, Chun's Reef, 1,500 feet wet, northeast bound. Nothing that's gonna knock the drink 
top of the drink tray. Okay. <laughs> Something tells me you got it handled, but I'm here to back you up if you need it. Okay. Oh, that's good. There's that helicopter. Paradise One, Sharks Cove, 1200 Northeast Bound Shoreline. I got the rotor wing in sight, no factor.
Yeah. Wait till you see the waves from the ground. They're way bigger than they look. Right? Because oh, yeah. they couldn't figure out how big it's from up here. You can't really tell when you look at it from up here. Yeah. Oh, You're right. Oh.
Is it still part of North Shore, right? Yeah. Because all of the shoreline faces north, but that's sort of the famous spot back there where the, um, you know, where the surfing is so good. Yeah. Out here, the, the wind, the wind kind of blows like this. So here it blows side shore, offshore. Over there it blows side shore, onshore. And that doesn't, that isn't so great for the waves. It wants to kind of crumple over the back of the waves. Yeah. But on a day like today, when there's no wind, it's fine. The surfing's yeah. great all over the place. I wonder you said like summer, no waves, so is that good for snorkeling everywhere? Yes, exactly right. So when the snorkeling is good, the surf is non-existent. And when the surf is excellent, the snorkeling is deadly. Oh, <laughs> I see. You have to pick one. Yes, you gotta pick. But you don't really have to pick because if you wanna surf in the if you wanna surf in the summertime and you're on the North Shore, you just go to the South Shore. Yeah. And if you true. wanna snorkel, you know, in the wintertime, you just go to the South Shore. You snorkel here in the in the summertime on the North Shore. Oh. I wonder where the brown color is from. It's from the rain we've had lately, so it brings the rain and the dirt down from the mountains. So it's just the red soil, the red dirt, oh. it comes down into the rivers. And because we had so much rain yesterday and the day before, yeah. a lot of the river outlets are real muddy. Like, look at this one up here. Oh, yeah. But in a day or two, it'll get clear again. Yeah. Much smoother over here, huh? Yeah, it is. Still like this, like uh, jet ski or surfing? Yeah, it's both. They're they're using jet skis to tow the surfers into the waves. Oh, and after that they can surf. Yeah, so they use the jet skis to kind of get the surfer up to speed, basically. There's like yeah, four jet skis there. Those guys look like they're just playing around in the waves. They don't even think they have. To, they're just jet skiing. They're just playing around in the waves.
that's a mango farm over there, and then there's a coconut palm tree farm, farm in front of us. Oh! Wow! It's great to see the wheel from up here. It's so nice. I never get tired of looking down. I just love it.
interfere with the, any radio signal, right? No, it's more like uh, we're not going to interfere with anything, but they they put out some signals, and we don't really want to we don't really want them to hit us. You know what I mean? Like it's oh. not good for our bodies. Oh. So we're supposed to stay a half a mile away. We're we're over a mile away. We're fine. We'll just go out over the water. Sorry to look at that. It's just so Aww. pretty. And then this is awesome. Can you hide this? 
mountain or the military not allowed to? You can hike it. Yeah, yeah, you can go up the Kalia Trail right behind the airfield. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the trailhead when we're flying in. Yeah. And then when you, it's about an hour and 15 minutes to the top. Yeah. Once you get to the top, uh, you can. There's about an hour to hike over to Makua Valley, which is not this little valley right here. This is Yokohama Bay, but the next valley over, yeah. that big valley, it's beautiful. Oh. So not quite four hours to go from the parking lot up over to Makua Valley, back and then down. And once you're up there, you can hike anywhere along here. They don't want you, they don't want you to come out to this dome, but you can hike up to those domes. That's not a problem. Oh, it's easy to get lost up here, though. Definitely bring like a compass. <laughs> <laughs> cell phone, make sure your cell phone's charged. Yeah. Bring lots of water. Yeah, because it's, some of the spot doesn't have a shade. Right? Yeah. yeah. There is actually a lot of shade up here. Like when you're hiking, there's a ton of shade. Uh -huh. But uh, it's just it's easy to get lost up here. Much blue ocean. Yeah. This is out like coral. It's lava rock, and then the coral grows on the lava. Ah. So it's it's what we're what we're pretty much seeing is like rock, and then yeah. the coral are the little plants that grows on top of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty. The water is so clear. So we don't have a whole lot of pollution out here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
push out on the bar to kind of slow ourselves down. There we go. And we'll pull over to the side. Easy, get out of the way. Yeah. Paradise one clear runway eight. <laughs> wow, they light up already. Yep. And then Tom and Jay are right behind them. Ah. Is that the small That's a plane? That's plane. Oh, the one that just fell down. Huh. <laughs> awesome. Nice job on the flight. Thank My you. goodness, you flew the whole time. for getting up early and coming flying with us today. Oh, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much. You actually got 0.8 hours of flight training. Did you learn anything? I do. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> 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 very good. <laughs> That's a good trick, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Kate? Hi. Hey, I'm Denise. You guys are all flying it. together. Uh, yeah, she's on staff. I pay her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she flew the whole time. It is beautiful today. Good. I told you you're going to fly the whole time. Yeah.